channel so today's video is from Ali Pearl Hair and this is a closure wig so this is actually like how I first started making my wigs with a closure and it's perfect for anyone who's in the rush on the go or for anyone who doesn't want to like pull their wigs back so they're not really worried about the sides or the ear tabs or anything like that because this unit can still be switched um, to a side part all you have to do is turn the unit if you want it as and a side part just either side I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the construction of the unit as you can see you only get the lace in the middle of the closure part and then I'm just going to go ahead and start plucking because this closure is pretty full um, so if you guys want a detailed video on how I pluck then I'll go ahead and leave it down below in the description box and I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this part So for this part, you see where the closure ends, you can see the tracks. You actually want to cut those parts back, um, but I didn't do it yet because I wanted to see how the wig would shape my forehead area first, but I end up cutting it off off camera, but you do want to cut the tracks that you see hanging on the sides because for some reason, um, I don't think they sold their closure close enough up, so you do want to cut those back and create kind of an oval shape. Because this is a closure unit so your sides aren't covered, you just want to make sure that your sides are kind of cute, you know, in case the wig blows back or anything like that. So I'm just going to take my Lovely Beast Edge Control and go ahead and spoof my sides just so it matches the closure when I do um, the baby hairs on the closure part.
baby hairs, I like to go in with either water or foam wrap first just to kind of shape the baby hairs and kind of mold them in place because you don't want to use more edge control or if you use gel, too much gel than you actually have to. Um, so I go in with the foam wrap and mold it, kind of get the shape of the baby hairs and then I'm going to go on top of it with my Lovely Bees edge control just to hold it in place. So if you can see, like you can kind of see the hairs right there where I'm doing the baby hair about where the tracks are. Um, I don't know why I did the baby hair first instead of cutting it off, but I did end up cutting off those track parts um, by the baby hairs on the sides. I end up cutting those back quite a bit um, just so it can kind of give the shape of a natural hairline and you won't have those tracks sticking up in the front. The only reason I keep sneaking out in went ahead and tied it down for a couple of minutes and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it all the links will be down below for anything I use in the actual unit I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys and I'll see you on my next one I can't live without